G'day and welcome to the Pursuit of Freedom podcast. I'm your host, Rosie Burrows, and I'm on a journey to find my freedom so that I can help you do exactly the same. Join me each week as I share the stories of everyday people who have found their own path to freedom. I'm not going to focus on job titles and accolades because I don't care about that stuff and neither should you. I want to uncover what truly makes you tick. Who are you when you step away from society's expectations and follow your heart? I still haven't figured it out yet. Have you? Either way, buckle up because it's going to be one hell of a ride. Welcome back to the Pursuit of Freedom podcast. This is episode 58. I'm feeling very relaxed right now. I just had a dip in the creek. It was amazing. I crossed into the Northern Territory yesterday from Western Australia, so that is very exciting. I'm in a town called Catherine. It's beautiful. It's about like four, yeah, four degrees cooler than than where I have been lately, so that's nice. Got a bit of rain last night for the first time in weeks and weeks and weeks. The temperature got down to 24 Celsius, which was just magical, really, really nice. Enough about that though, because I've got an exciting update I want to share with you. And this revolves around the concept of, you don't know if you don't ask. This is a lesson I'm constantly learning, but it never ceases to amaze me, right? So I want to share this story because I hope it will motivate and inspire you to ask more questions. Ask things of people. Don't make decisions for them before you even bother to ask okay so here's what i did recently i joined a platform called podmatch essentially it's like a database of podcast hosts and guests and pairs them up i've been using it and it's amazing you will start hearing those interviews with guests from podmatch from next week so let me know if you notice a difference anyway this platform costs money The cheapest one is six US dollars a month, so not crazy. But as someone who doesn't make money from my podcast, it still costs, right? But I wanted to explore their more expensive plan, which in Australian dollars is close to a hundred bucks a month. I cannot afford that. So I got to thinking, I'm like, I'm loving this platform. It is amazing. I'm meeting really cool people. There's a cool community, lots of guests. Like it's just amazing. So I got brave. And I wrote to one of the founders, Alex Sanfilippo, on Podmatch. And I gotta say, I didn't really think this out very well and it wasn't very clear, but I sort of said, hey, do you wanna collaborate? I'll be an amazing case study for you when you provide me with a platform. Which I meant, they give me free access and I can provide a case study for them to share as marketing um, in terms of how their platform helps my podcast grow. Anyway, I got a very nice reply from Alex. He's like, maybe the best way we can surf together is for you to join the podcast network. It's like, yes, cool, but that's not quite what I meant. So then I I sat down and thought about a bit more and I sent him back a video. I was so nervous, but also really excited. And so I said to him, look, let's do a value trade. I'm not asking to be sponsored or anything formal like that, but I'm keen to do a value trade because I want to experience the full extent of your platform and I want to share with the world how great it is, but I can't do that without you because I don't have a platform. And you know what? We worked out a deal together. We are doing a value trade. They are basically, I pay for access, but it gets reimbursed. So each month they will give me as a commission the cost of the subscription, which is really, really cool like I'm getting essentially free access to this platform and we're just kind of working together figuring it out I think after a few months we'll go okay this is what's working and if I'm just going to put it all on the line here and be brave and put it out into the world I hope it turns into a bigger partnership something that actually does earn me money but you know what if it doesn't that's okay I think this is really good practice for me and it gets me thinking about ways to be more creative but also reminded me the power of just ask the question. Like if Alex said no, what's the big deal? Nothing would have changed. Maybe my ego would have been a bit bruised, which isn't doesn't feel great, but I haven't lost anything, right? So go out and ask questions. 
ask things of people. Be brave because you don't know what's going to happen. This is how I've landed clients in the past. I'm talking multiple five, a multiple five-figure client I got just because I asked the question and I, I put a pitch together. When my community was still established, that's how I got my first founding members. I just asked the question. I thought there was no way people were going to join, but guess what they did? Go out and ask the question, whether it's in your personal life or in business. Let's get brave and let's ask the question. Do it genuinely, without expectation. And I think it's often important to outline the value for the other person. It's not just, this is what I want from you. You need to be clear on that, but also what are they gonna get from the exchange? I don't wanna waffle anymore. I hope the audio is okay. I've actually got my phone sitting in my fold phone holder and I'm just talking into that, no external mic. I've got the engine of the van running with the air con on because it's really hot outside. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that update. My podcast is going from strength to strength. You know, like you would have noticed there's two episodes coming out per week. Please give me your feedback and send me a voice message through my website. The link will be in the description. Let me know what, what topics you want me to talk about, what kind of guests you want. What's your favorite episode? You know what another exciting thing is happening, actually? I'm launching a new podcast with my dear friend, Ruler. Um, it's really exciting. It'll either launch next month or early next year. It's going to be an absolute hoot. Um, kind of a different different direction to this podcast here. This one's not stopping, but the new one I'm starting will be called The Rosie and Ruler Show. It's not yet released, but we're currently bulk recording episodes. They're only going to be 10 to 15 minutes long. They're going to be a lot of banter, asking the big questions like, should we expect people with a penis to put the toilet seat up and down, you know, for the next person? all sorts of fun stuff like that stuff that maybe doesn't matter but actually it does impact our day to day because I felt like that cheeky side of me doesn't quite come out in this podcast and actually the the conception of that podcast was another example of you don't know if you don't ask the question Ruler and I were just chatting and we came up with it and both of us were like oh my god yes our excitement matched each other so what is a question you can go out and ask maybe it's asking for a pay rise maybe it's talking to your partner about something exciting you want to do maybe you want to put out in the world that you're you're looking for a new job maybe you are looking for clients in your business and things haven't been going so well so go out and talk to people ask them if they would be interested in your services or your products be brave this is your sign you don't know if you don't ask i've got a value trade type partnership with Podmatch just by asking the question and I've also got a new podcast on the horizon just by asking the question it is phenomenal and you know what one more thing has popped into my head about asking the question as I go into these towns in the van it's it's hard because I've got Tilly and not everywhere's dog friendly and initially I'd just sort of try to look online and there'd be some things and Anyway, I'm quite a shy person, I have a bit of social anxiety, but as soon as I started talking to locals or going to the information center, whoa, I discovered all sorts of cool places I could take um, Tilly to. And it was wonderful. Like when I was in Broome, I discovered all these dog friendly places, all the areas of the beaches to go. I discovered a really cool thing to do called Coconut Well, where you um, float down with a tide. It's about an hour, an hour and a half, and it was just Oh, it was just great. And even when it, where I am now in Catherine, there's a lot of crocs, but I've found out some local swimming holes that are relatively safe and, and your dog can swim. So, yeah, go ask the question, everybody. Pluck up the courage. Ask the question. You just never know what's going to happen. You might get a bruised ego, but you know what? It might just be the best thing of your life. I will catch you in the next episode, which will also be released this week. I'm not sure what I'm gonna talk about, but it will be a solo one, and I will make sure it's a good one for you. All right, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you so much, and please, 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 the percentage of people who listen to the podcast that are following, officially following, has reduced below 10%. So, follow the podcast, please. 
it means a lot. This is what helps the show grow. It's the easiest way and, and it's free for you to support the show. It means I continue to get great guests. It means I'll probably get more opportunities to get companies on board to perhaps sponsor the show. I do not want to be reading out icky ads or having ads interrupting the episodes. I'm not into that. But to have more bargaining power, I need a bigger listenership. So please follow. Please leave a review. It means the world. You can even leave one on my website if you're not part of Apple Podcasts. So check out the website, thepursuitoffreedom.com.au. It has all the episodes, all the show notes. It has transcripts for all the episodes. And you can get in contact with me if you want to come onto the show. All right, that's enough from me. Just remember, you don't know if you don't ask. So go out and ask the question. See you later.